So, Chad, I was doing some stuff yesterday when I wasn't live. <laughs> yeah. I'm basically building this, but at a full block scale. For reference, uh, 17 by 17 by 17 is one Minecraft block. I nearly got to be 16, but it wouldn't have been compatible with the mob farm. So, yeah. Yeah! It's a lot of fucking resources. That is more leaves than I can put into words, and I am not anywhere close to being done. But let me give you the little tour. So... I slimmed down the mob farm because originally when I was thinking about encasing this around and when I showed off last stream, it was like 21 blocks instead of 17. And the thing just looked massive. Like it was way too big of a chonker. So I, uh, crucify me for saying that word. So I slimmed it down a little bit and you can kind of see here, I had to put some signs down because I pretty much trimmed it only to the platforms there's no like other gaps so sometimes you get spiders that hit the corner it's whatever it's not like full 100 percent efficiency it's like 98 really like there's not many other problems except for the fact that a spider might get stuck against here because it's a block and a half wide or whatever the hitbox is but yeah this thing's like slimmed down for the most part almost entirely i can try and go a little bit more in but i don't want to like get a creeper to detonate uh See if that's a good view. Yeah. So the system... I'll need to fix that. Hold on a second. So, okay, thank you. Service having a good day today. Can I get in here without getting absolutely murdered? Ugh, leave me alone. Is everything good now? Everything should be good now. Go. Is that good now? That's uh, good now. Hey, friends. Fuck you. So yeah, the farm got slimmed down a little bit to fit the uh, new dimensions of the trees. And then check this out. So, the area is up here. I'm going to be working on this today. I didn't want to do it off camera. But dude, I'm going to move the iron golem farm here. Because take a look at this, right? I've got this 34 by 34. Well, 17 by 34. Basically, giant cube right here that isn't doing anything. Because that's housing the entire mob farm. This is just empty. There's no mobs spawning because there's bottom slabs down there. But I'm thinking, I can just move the iron golem farm into here. Because it'll be at the same distance, like, my player should still be close enough to where it'll run. And the zombie will stay and the iron golems will spawn. But I think everything should be good, because, like, even the distance between the golem falling and hitting lava, this is 34 blocks tall. The golem only needs to fall, like, 18, so we could probably fit the entire thing into here. And then we've also got this one up here. It's a 17 by 17. I don't know what I'll use this for, but that's one more area that we can just like kind of... It's another farm that I can flush into a better design of my base. Because that's the whole reason that I did this project in the first place. The farm worked great when it was just bare bones on its own. But I wanted to make it look nice. So it wasn't just like one massive floating farm. I have no idea how a raid farm is going to look. I'm not... That's a problem for future me, not current me. Current me sees opportunity. So yeah, I'll probably move that into there and then... I don't know. We could maybe do like Cagerium in here, to be honest. But that kind of, that'll kind of come down to if I don't want to put Cagerium um, lower around on my base, somewhere around there. Because I don't really have a spot for it at the moment, but yeah, I don't know. Cagerium's a simple like one block solution, doesn't require a lot of room or moving parts. So it could fit in here pretty neatly. When does it grow giant coconuts? Uh, that part hasn't been thought of yet. But yeah, the, um, the amount of resources and the amount of blocks that are needed for this thing, the wood is taken care of. The base of the tree is done. The trunk is completely done. The leaves are going to be a whole other fucking problem that I'm just going to probably get taken care of today. That's the reason why I had the, uh, 
I don't have it on me, but that's the reason why I got the Flame Ray again, because without that, farming the leaves is nearly impossible. Because Flame Ray is an instant break. Even with this fast pickaxe, it doesn't instant break leaves. So. That's been, um... I think it looks good. Obviously, it doesn't look very nice right now because the leaves don't fall all the way down, but I'm basically going to turn that, because those are the highest blocks, the 3x3 three three right there. I'm going to turn that into the same, like, leaf shape that a normal coconut tree has. And I think once it's hanging over, it'll look really, really nice. Um, I really like the use of um, the logs, so it smooths over the bottom, because that's kind of how it looks on the bottom of... Uh, like a single block anyway. But I was thinking about using maybe oak wood as like little rings that, because oak wood isn't very much of a different texture. It's like a little bit darker, but it's not like spruce color dark. So I was thinking I could maybe use oak wood as like lines, you know, like tree rings, age rings around the bottom of the log. And I think that could look really cool. Um, and then the actual detailing of here, I feel like will probably be an ongoing project because there's a lot of texture in coconut logs, all the different colors, the shading. Also, I'd imagine indentation of the logs as well, too. The bark. So I don't know if I'm going to do anything like that. Maybe, like, shave it up a little bit. I'm not sure. But I think just making the rings and then getting the leaves to look nice will be uh, pretty cool. So, yeah. And it looks a little bit daunting right now, but I figure once I get my island expanded all the way out here, right? It's like a giant island. It kind of looks nice, you know? Like, from a distance, not just, like, immediately near the portal, like... It's pretty fucking cool, right? I was nervous originally doing it, because what I showed off yesterday of me just, like, surrounding this thing in... It looked terrible. <laughs> I was like, fuck, this looks bad. It was, like, half done on stream, and I'm like, guys, you have to trust me, it's gonna look good. I had no faith in myself that it was gonna look good. But I think it's looking okay right now as a start. I've just been going to my voyage area over here. Sorry for the lag spike, everybody. And just been cutting down an exorbitant number of trees. Probably given off by the amount of uh, crabs around here. Yeah. Kind of fucking up this desert a little bit. <laughs> I'd say that was definitely a larger scale farm of trees that I've had, even just compared to offline. I think yesterday, every time that I went out to the desert, it was like half of that. So hopefully that should be significantly more than enough we need for the tree. Because we're out of room with the logs, but we're definitely not out of room for the coconut leaves. Hour 40 minutes. Yeah, that's a sizable... Yeah, that's a sizable, uh, that's sizable. So I think building Gaddis is a nice thing to unlock, just, you know, it's just a nice quality of life. Yeah, so that costs... How much lapis do I have? Buy the iron generator that scale has? I'm not really looking to buy anything. Is it only one times compressed? Oh, it is only one times compressed. Oh, well, it's not that expensive at all. We can literally make that. How much Laramar do I have? Oh yeah, we're good on yeah, we're good on Larry. We've got we're good on everything. And then how about how about knowledge? We're 
incredibly good on knowledge shards. That's just kind of the story with the entire server. But in terms of uh, Bennett's I'd say it's where the main difference lies. So let's take a little look at this. Let's do a... We've already got one extraordinary Benetite. Let's make another one. And then I've already got one unlearned knowledge. So we can do a little shift click on this bad boy, get two of you. And then knowledge core. How many vault diamonds do we have? God damn. We... <sighs> We gotta run vaults, man! Oh. I have to run vaults to get materials to build things and mods. Oh no, man. Not running vault. What a horrible thing. I fucking love this game. Hey, why don't we, um... Cheeky little building gadgets. Sure. Oh my god, I'm a builder! Wait a minute! Yo, transmog me up! Give me the OSHA helmet! What's this look like? Yo! Oh my god, he's ready to build. What a guy. Yo, let me get the whole fit? Wait, who's rocking the building fit today? Builder legs? The tool belt? Oh my god. Where's the leak, man? And the builder boots. I mean, you know that I, like, you know I want to do it for the chest play as well, too. But I, I'm not going to lie. I kind of like the cake that I got on right now. The server is absolutely not having us at the moment. Surely it wasn't the transmorg? Why'd you have to say that? Oh, fuck. No, I, I, no, I can't. No, I literally can't. I, no, I can't do it right now. I have to test this when other people are offline. I can't do it right now. Chat, we look great anyway. My three pixel boots look fantastic. I'm not I'm not doing any more transport game. Li I literally can't. I look fucking good. Man, I should have gotten into a trade. <laughs> See these hands, man? These are trade hands right here. <laughs> Let me work on some plumbing, man. There we go. Building gadget. Fantastic. And enter cell. Are we good on everything else? We're good on everything else. All right. Enter cell. I gotta say, I love the design of it. I love the design. So how do you work? Energy, zero FE out of one million FE. Charge, input, output, and total. Oh, that's uh, that's where you put in the... Oh, oh, it's, it's a literal charging dock. You put in your gadget into the thing that needs to be charged, or you take it out, and it either takes the energy... Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's literally like... Okay, it's like a million other mods and what they've done. Okay, okay. So we definitely need to unlock the iron generators then. So I'm curious about iron generators... Stone generator is furnace with Laramar and vault stone. An iron generator is stone generator with chromatic iron ingots. A gold one is compressed blocks of gold and chromatic steel. We can do that. A diamond generator is a vault diamond block. Fuck, I have that. That'd be everything, though. And three blocks of diamond. A netherite generator is... Oh, I don't have any diamonds! I don't have enough diamonds for that! And then a copper generator is somewhere along the middle of there. And these are all upgradable through the... So it's all through... You make the stone generator first. With any type of furnace in the middle. And then that upgrades to... Any of the stone, iron, or iron, gold, or diamond generators. And then you need three diamond gens for a netherite generator. Or you can just go the copper route. Interesting. One of you, please. I don't have any vault stone. <laughs> I'm already committed. Fuck you. I need to go find vault stone, too. <laughs> Sick. We found it. Alright, we got some vault stone now. Run me up with one of these bad boys. Stone generator. So I've never used iron generators before. I'm assuming this is probably going to be fairly simple to understand, but I'm probably not going to grasp it immediately. That is definitely a stone generator. So is my assumption correct in assuming that it generates by smelting stone, or is it coal? One FE per tick. I think it's probably coal. The stone generator definitely does not generate using stone. <laughs> Had to just make sure that that was correct before we went a little bit too far into this. So if I put this thing next to here, that does work as an input. That does... 
there you go. So I'm assuming that this is why the inner cell was added alongside the builder's gadget thing. So you can have a mod like iron generators that I don't know if you can directly hook up to a machine or like have an input like this. And you'd have a way to be able to charge the building gadget without like cables or another block that would hold an item like a battery or a charger for a battery, a dock of some kind. So that's cool. That works. Let's get this bad boy upgraded. I, I, people yelling at me, upgrade the generator. Bitch, it's been five seconds. I just wanted to see what the basic was like. We can at the very minimum do a gold generator, I think right off the rip. So gold generator. Is it worth skipping straight to diamond? Fuck. Never mind. I literally don't even. Okay. That conversation is not a possible thing right now. Let's just go with the gold generator and see what this works on. So gold generator popped onto here. And do I have any lava buckets? So let's see here. I'm assuming it takes proper input. Looks like it does. Oh, that's good. Okay. So 16 FE per tick compared to the one from a stone generator. And that's a thousand seconds. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's getting up there. Okay, you know what? Hey, it's an entry point into energy, but for the time being, that'll definitely do. Oh, perfect. All right, cool. How's the battery doing? Damn! Cool, so we can build while uh, these are generating. Holy fucking shit. Like, I kind of figured it would look large, but that's looking pretty cool. Yer. A plain old vault. Saddlebag. It's not that bad of a scav. It's really not that bad of a scav. Alright, this is gonna be a very good test of finding out how much damage mobs deal to me with high armor and low health. What the frick is up with you? I just took five hearts on a single hit. I just took five hearts on a single hit. Tier 2 mob, though? Tier 2 mob, tier 2 mob, tier 2 mob. Your point? So I legitimately need health then because even with 12 armor 14 armor 11 armor 10 armor i take three hits from a mob i don't even want to know what a tier two spider would do or anything like that and i'm fucking dead nah i'm out man i need to regear I, I literally am I'm, I'm not running this vault it's not afterlife risk is too high i'm not doing it i'm not equipped i'm out no, I, uh, apparently we need health. Okay. I was hoping that wouldn't be the case, but that is definitely the case. I have 66% defense. A single mob hit me for five hearts. That's ridiculous. Okay. Run me down some rerolls then. We're looking for tier three health and nothing else. Or plus one armor on top of that. Nope. Fourteen vault bronze per roll. Buddy. God. Jesus, man. Let's make some legs. Godspeed to me. Point seven to one point three. Modest. Eight armor, tier two. 
No, because we're working off of 7 armor, 9 health. So I'm trying to at least get 10 armor. 1.3. 2.6. Pretty good. Tier 2 mana. Jeez, I haven't seen that before. 18 mana. Christ. It's cool. Three point six, three point seven. Decent rolls. <sighs> Man, the comment would have been so nice. Okay, all right, there we go. Durability solid. Crit hit res is tier two. Eleven armor. That's a fatty boy right there. Give me some tier three health. The thing is, it offers anything. It's worth it to just roll this until it hits. Because I roll this, I guess it's like it's worth it to get a success. Then I modify it. Otherwise, just roll it until I have a defense. Right, like, like, well. Two mana again. It's hardly a mana regen. But it could be, like, nice. No. Oh, God, you're getting pricey, you're getting pricey, you're getting pricey. That was all I've been there. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. 11 armor. Max implicit tier roll for tier 3. 7 health. Good. Excellent. Great. We have barely crafted any helmets. 1.4 increase. Not bad. Nine armor, middle of the pack for tier three, but that's workable. I want tier three, I think. It's cheap right now to reroll. I can push for it. Two armor, no. Four health. Uh, if it was mana regen, I would have rolled with it. Yes! Oh, that's a spicy boy right there! That's a hot boy right there! Woo! With the last bit of bronze that I had in the table. Okay, so what do we have? 40 armor. So we're rocking 40 armor, and we got 51 hearts. So we went down from 56 hearts to 51, or 56 HP to 51 HP, but we gained 7... So we gained 7 armor in exchange for two and a half hearts. That's gotta be worth it. Shield upgrade? Well, the shield that we have is good. Weapon upgrade then? I'm starting to think that I'm not the one addicted to rolling gear. Let's run it up. We had a scab before. Trapped, but opulent. 11 pottery shards. Well, if there was any way that I would have a build for looting... Okay, we're actually holding up decently well against these guys. If I've got a build for looting chests, this is the one. With my pick and everything, so... This is kind of... This is the scav to be. Let's see, we're just looting a ton of regular chests. Um... How many pottery shards we're able to net. I don't think it'll necessarily be easy by any means. Absolutely incredible clutch. Absolute, Bro, the poison fell off of the fucking... I... I don't want a replay of that. I just... I'm just thinking to myself right now. Already down to 41 mana, by the way. Feeling absolutely incredible in life. I hate that you exist, by the way. I just want to let you know that. Everything tier two? Holy fuck. <laughs> We're going south. Drop a point at spawn as well, which is really nice. Do we need anything from Gilded? We don't. Well, I actually lied, I need Vault Diamonds.
Living chest over there. Undesirable location. Not going to it. I'm not wearing the frog stringer because it doesn't currently work in the vault. I put in a bug report. Don't know when it'll get fixed, but... No use bringing it in and possibly dying with it if it's not going to work. You know what I mean? I hate you. You... I love the model. I absolutely love the model. Hate you, though. Yeah, I definitely could not get to that in time. Armor feels good, though. Armor and defense levels feel nice. We have four blood vials. One green bangle. Okay. the health pots a little bit more. I'm considering the idea of that, to be honest. Yeah. That as we run vaults, I might need to get health pot production up. What the fuck am I doing? Uh, my headache's kind of getting to me a little bit. That's not even copium. That's just being honest. Oh, boy. Um, We might need to get health pots just running up for vaults. So I can heal outside of just my uh, mana ability. I'm already pretty burned on mana, and health goes down a good bit. Okay. Thank you. Can drop down on me? It's just the challenge of not getting hit, you know? Oh, I missed the chest. Oh, God, it's gonna spawn again, isn't it? No. Okay. A lot of gilded POIs. Don't care to go in there right now. Also playing pretty loose. I think there's definitely an adjustment period, kind of getting used to uh, mobs actually dealing damage to me and taking a few more seconds to kill because I was running so many vaults at lower level and also just getting kind of used to co-op vaults as well too that are naturally lower level. So readjusting for my own level of vaults is... yeah. It's yeah. Got the saddlebag on the one. Okay. It's it's doable. Hit the saddlebag on the one chest that I opened. Still, I'm not shying away from the fact that 11 pottery shards is absolutely fucking redonkulous. Not shying away from that fact at all. But you got to take what you can get. Dungeons kind of tear the fuck out, terrify the fuck out of me, to be honest. Got a regular chest scroll. There's probably more up there. I'm not interested in getting pinned down by seven spawners that I can't grab. So many gilded POIs. I guess it's a hybrid, but still. E piece. Need vault diamonds just as much as I need to complete this vault. Are you gonna proc? I don't think so.
What the? From what angle? From what ang? Woo! Oh my god, he hit lucky again. <laughs> oh no. Okay, let's hope the lag isn't too severe. Is there a regular spawner on this POI? Oh shit. Whoa, man. Alright, I'm gonna check in a second to see um what we have in terms of loot because that's gonna kinda determine whether or not I continue going for the uh the scab, or if I just bail off. We have... <laughs> so, chat. The scab was a really good idea. I think I'm going to be not electing to complete this vault. Let's see if we can, uh, you know, maybe find a mine room to get my Wooda Die. <laughs> my Wooda Die quest. My bounty. What the hell is swing mess? Oh, brother! Here's me taking a lot of silly damage at the moment. How is that not connecting? It literally hits on land. We would need like an Omega dig site. It's really like the only way to even have an opportunity to uh, complete this. I don't think there's any other POIs that have as much of a concentration of regular chests. Living chest scroll, yeah, double living chest scroll. Huge. I don't even know what I'm gonna use all those living uh, scrolls for, but they're there. Down room, square vault, hog.
All right, headed west. So much knowledge. Yeah. It's weird how the Benetite and Vault Diamonds is the uh, limitation, not necessarily just the knowledge shards. I don't know if I can live without quick. I really, I really don't think that I could. The 25% increased dig speed is so incredible for breaking spawners. Why did it feel like there was already a turn-in point downstairs and that this is just a second one in the same room? I'm seeing so many, I'm like, losing my mind of how many there are per room. Lags the hut. Yep, that's me. Swing your weapon at the enemy, it might kill them, Kratos! Are all vaults technically completable without taking into account time restraints? Do you mean like if I looted every single room in this vault, would I be guaranteed to get 11 uh, pottery shards? Like every single chest in the entire vault? In theory, with the way that RNG works, the answer is no, because you can... If, every, if something is a random roll, you can never fully guarantee that... You can't guarantee anything. No matter how many samples you give, in theory, you can't ever guarantee something. You can put 10 million chests down, and there is a possibility that one might not roll an Omega, that none of them will roll an Omega. Aaron, why are you Steve? What the hell, man? Ah, give me my items! So, I mean, factoring that into the way that the vaults generate their loot and everything, I don't think there's a guarantee on every vault just because of that, right? Chests are independent things. The amount of chests in every room and the POIs are independently generated. Um, I don't think there's a guarantee that there will be at least one item in every vault. The hypothetical of how many rooms there are in the scaling and such is that it is more than likely, yeah, you're going to find everything that you need. But you can't slap a guarantee on that. 
Chevron minutes. And we are departing. We're back in our ass. I guess the nice thing is that the trap chests seem to only be spawning tier 1 mobs. Now that I say it out loud, it's probably going to get adjusted. It's like a later level type deal. I think I kind of pre-jacked the heel on that one, if I'm going to be completely honest. Boots! Boots. What the fuck?! Incredible aim! What the fuck, man? No challenge rooms, no omegas. Good block. You don't do that much damage. Admittedly. Maybe that was Luxendrate. I don't know if that was a Wooded Eye or not. Okay, thanks. There's literally a drop off point in every single room that I've gone to into. I love it. I wonder if drop off points for scavs should only be increased in co op vaults. Because, as nice as it is that there's a drop-off point in nearly every room in a solo, it does kind of take away that needing to make sure that you run back to a room that has a drop-off point. But it makes sense in scavs, because in scav vaults, you have the, like, added difficulty of needing to make sure that you meet up with everybody. Right? Like, you meet up toward, like, the end of the vaultish to transfer off items that you might have looted for someone else. So you have to kind of navigate and manage what rooms you're going into in that regard. And that's where I felt like it makes sense that you don't want the difficulty on top of that of being like, where's the drop-off room as well? But for solo, I feel like you could probably lower the amount of drop-off points. I don't think there needs to be one in every single room. I think it kind of takes away from that location spot of like, where should I actually be going? And so just basically directly toward the uh, room that I go into. Just a, a thought that I had in my brain. My silly little brain. Do the time alter! You're right at the exit! <laughs> Surely. Surely you're where you think you are. Hey, who's hitting me? Woo! Right, I'm gonna get close to spawn. I'm gonna see if I can set up my scab bag and not freak the fuck out. <laughs> not going into that panic mode that I always do. Me and setting up a scab bag, name a worst duo. Alright, we're literally right here. Should have done the, uh, should have done the altar. Still time to go to the altar. Should definitely go do it. All right. Crack script. Um, what are the things? Goblet. That's from. And red scroll. These are from gilded's. Gilded and coin piles. We got the green bangles as well. We don't have the earrings from gilded, and then we don't have the. What's the omega from? Coin piles. We have a saddlebag as well too for more Nate. Oh, Crack Pearl. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, so... Oh, wait, we already have, um... Wait, so what is it then? 
Oh, it's Spider Soul Charm for the... So for Gilded... Gilded is Red Scroll. Uh, Goblet is Epic. Yeah, Gilded Red Scroll is Common. Goblin is Epic. And then the Spider Soul Charm is the uh, Rare. And then for Ornate, Empty Jar is the Common. I forget what the... I know Saddlebag's the Epic, right? And then for Pottery Shards, it's Blood Vial is the Common. Crack Script is the Rare. Green Bangle is the Epic. And Crack Pearl is the Omega. This is everything. Yes, yeah, Sack. Yeah, yeah, it's Sack. So this is everything. Mob Essence, Regular Chest, Living, uh, Gilded, Ornate. Cool. Okay, so Backpack Settings, Memorize, Bang, 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 Bang. Well, at the very least. <laughs> In this vault, at the very least. How many cracked pearls did we get? A cracked pottery shard? Pottery shard? We got three. <laughs> how many? I want to know how many gilded or how many regular chests I broke out of here. Granted, it was trapped. How many regulars did I did I break? 164 chests. 137 wooden. Seven omega, 14 epic, 35 rare, 58 common, 23 trapped. And I got three pottery shards. So I would have needed somewhere close to about 480 chests if I would have uh, to have been able to uh, get that scav completion. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Yo, Quirky! Do we have any questions? I'm surprised that Zine wanted to continue talking with me after I shared that with him. Alright, uh, so what do we need for a drawer? Chromatic iron, birch... I mean, a chest? Okay. Alright! It's a lot of drawers. I think I like that. No going back now. All right, now we need a drawer controller. Hell yeah. Praise God for the mine rooms that we've gotten. Okay, so we got a drawer controller and chat was telling me that apparently the way the drawer controllers work is they can read off drawers within a 12 by 12 by 12 range of them. So the idea is that we chuck down a shit ton of drawers that work for all the items that I have on this list over here, because these are all the major ones that we have for farms and it's high quantities at the moment. And connecting the drawer controller up will mean that Simple Storage Network only needs to access technically one inventory. The rest of the lag optimization comes down to drawers because SSN is only reading from one inventory. It's not having to read from 7 million different chests, however large my storage gets. Same thing for exporting as well, too. I'm kind of nervous about setting up exporters because I was told how much lag they cause having to pull from an inventory, and we're still obviously going to be using chests to some degree. Drawers should simplify a lot of it, but yeah, it should make it better. That way, if I'm trying to yoink my entire stack of 17k iron, that I don't nearly nuke the entire server and kill Abe while he's running a vault. <laughs> that was a power that I did not know that I possessed. But if I had that back during the Modern Warfare 2 days, maybe I could have gotten a couple more nukes. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get this set up. Good God Almighty. Okay. Not enough. I know it's not enough yet. Um, we can do one more roundup of it. There goes the chromatic steel. Good lord. Okay. Um, so we want storage upgrade two. Increase the storage by four times base value. That's going to be 8k per. 
The idea was that I would have two of these. Because this is way too pricey for the amount that we're going for. The idea is that I would have two of these, so we could have a storage up to... Because that would be 16k instead of 8k. The thing is, I don't know if I need more than 8,000. Realistically, of any of these items. Like, I really don't right now. By the time that I do actually need numbers of that quantity... Like, it, I just don't need that much right now. By the time we get up to that point, we'll have digital storage. Okay, we're done. But look at how hot this looks, though. Hey, like, dude. Dude, man. It's one stupid block. Okay, we got to figure out, though, like, how does the... Because we can have two of these, right? Like, you can read this and then also have an import cable for the items, right? It's a filtered link cable? Oh, that exists? Oh my god. We can leave it like this. This works good. We got the filtered link cable with a lower priority. Um, so the smaller goes first. So items should, by default, go into there and not these chests. And yeah, we've got a few extra spare ones. Chat, I'm going live tomorrow. I was trying to be live like early in the morning because I got a doctor's appointment in the afternoon. So I'll try and stream like early in the morning. But bro, I'm, I'm sleep. On normal sleep schedule, I'm waking up at 5 a.m. every day. It's been lit. <laughs> it's been really nice. You upload to YouTube? I do. Uh, second episode of Vault Hunters just went live today. If you want to go on there and check it out. This dude gonna take damage? LP Mastery wins this whole thing. Wait a minute, Brawny? Brawny getting double teamed? There's no way! Oh my god. Damn. Close match. Getting treatment for your crabs? Yeah, something like that. Honestly, with the issues I came in with, that's not far off. All right. Gladiator Rita ended off. Uh, like I said, I appreciate y'all watching. Thank you for enjoying the content today. Most of it was just a little bit of building and tidying up of things, but yeah, I do, uh, I do appreciate it. That's a lot of armor. Witch leggings? Poison avoidance. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. 10 armor, 13 armor, 32% block chance. We'll take a helm, and I'm not going to have anything else on me. All right, I'm going to be relatively nude. 19 armor, 22 armor. There we go. If you want an editor, I can edit YouTube videos and shorts for free. I'm not a beginner. I just need somewhere to start. I just need to start somewhere just in case. Don't offer your work for free, brother. It's good to demo to maybe give someone to show a little bit of what you can do, but generally, everybody's got their value, whether you're starting out or not or whatever. But I appreciate that, though. I'm good at the moment. But I do thank you. Well, I got like no HP. Surely this doesn't end badly for me. Oh, that cleave. Ooh, that cleave. Guys, come on! Brothers. Brothers. Perky. Perky. Perky, listen. Perky. Listen. That's embarrassing, man! What y'all doing here? You gotta put some hop in your step.
but GG's at the end of it all. I appreciate y'all a lot. Thank you very much for watching the stream. I will catch you all around at some point in the future.